Hey, it's Vaughn, just chilling out in my Prius. And I like extreme tech. And this project's only about halfway where it should be. Eventually, I want to have a huge monitor over there, but I got to tear the seats out and set up mounting for that. And look, I wouldn't normally run my system like this. Um, I got a lot of redundancy set up here, but just to show, you know, the amount of cameras and awareness you could have if you wanted to set up a camper for private detective or surveillance or something, you can definitely put a lot of tech in here. And I'm running just off of a small jackery in the car. I don't have the inverter hooked up. So anyway, this would normally be my Netflix computer, this tablet here. And that tablet, you know, it, uh, it flips around to the back of the car, so if I'm I'm in the back working or something, I can still watch my Netflix. Um, this one up here is on a clip, so if I want the security cameras in the back, I can clip them up to the bar there. The laptop, obviously, you can do anything with. That's my camper cameras, and you can see the Prius there, and so no one's sneaking up on me. People are like, oh, you're... You know, your windows are all blacked out. How do you know what's going on outside? Well, you know, like I said, try to sneak up on me. I always know what's going on. Now, this is the four channel. Both of these are the four channel uh, mobile DVR that's dedicated to the car. So everywhere I go, I got north, south, east, and west camera coverage. And, uh, and then those go along with the DL12, which will do front and rear cameras. And then I got the phone, which will normally be navigation and things like that and making phone calls. But I just wanted to show that I can tie into the camper's camera systems on there. Technically, I could pull up cameras on here, but I want to keep the power draw low. So I got uh, Wi-Fi and everything turned off on that. That's an ODB2 computer. Uh, and it'll, that's running hybrid assistant right now. It's also got Dr. Prius and uh, Torque on it. And then I do not like having this in my cup holder. It keeps you from reaching down on the floorboard and grabbing stuff. So normally this little monitor would be in the back for my sleeping. Uh, this is probably the only one that I wouldn't have in normal configuration. I just don't like the cup holder designs. And I, But I refuse to use suction cups. So everything is permanently mounted. Clip-ons. You know, that's a clip-on up there headrest mount on there and the camper is a little messy but for people who want to see a prius camper you know i've got the bed there with a 110 electric blanket i've got another 12 volt electric blanket uh when i'm working i can technically put this there and i got my work laptop so i can technically go a little more extreme than i am right now with my current setup but uh what's the point in and I guess geeking out too much on this video. Anyway, uh, now I'll show you how I actually use it, what's on all the screens. All right, so this is more my typical configuration. I'm just kicked way back in the driver's seat. This thing lays down like a bed. I can keep an eye on my battery and engine temperatures and everything else from the hybrid assistant app, navigation and phone, Play some games on Steam. Keep an eye around the car with both the dash cam and the mobile DVR. And obviously phone calls and stuff. And then this screen again, this is my Netflix screen. So laying clear back here in bed uh, in the driver's seat, you know, that gives me a pretty good angle and access to touch screen my shows. And let's see. I think it's all wired up through Bluetooth. So we'll get sound out of the stereo. Go fishing. So small screen, but close. And the car's audio makes for a pretty good experience. And then lastly, that stupid cup holder screen. I put that in the back here on that side, or it can go over on this side. Uh, so I can keep an eye on the car cameras from back here so that's my current setup we got a long way to go keep in touch i'll show you what i got going on have any questions let me know